There is a popular saying that goes, money can't buy you happiness. When we talk about manifesting money, whether you're using your astrology like I'm going to show you, or you're listening to Neville Goddard, or you're tapping in, into Abraham Hicks, there is a common idea that is being shared amongst manifestors in the community of manifesting your money. And it's not quite that money can't buy you happiness, but that it is happiness that attracts your money. So it is in being happy that you manifest money. It is in your feeling state of feeling fulfilled, of being personally satisfied that brings money to you. So happiness attracts your money. Now, on the Venus blueprint here, we talk specifically about astrology. And in astrology, it is commonly also known that Venus is the planet of money. And there is a very much so truth to that. But the first planet that people overlook, and it's probably the most important one, is the moon. There is a, a strong science behind the moon's connection to money and water and mothering and nurturing that helps us to see that money can come to you in so many different ways when you are taking care of yourself and not in the way where you are just getting a massage and putting on makeup. While for some of you, that really might be it. It's really about taking true care into your emotional ups and downs understanding your emotions understanding what fulfills your emotions based off of your moon sign is going to get you there so if you would like to get a more in-depth reading you can check the site below but i'm going to break down for you a another formula i have video one that has one formula this is video two that has the second formula and how your moon sign shows you that manifesting money is what gets you happiness. It is in the making of money. It is in the manifesting of money that gets you the happiness. So the moon is connected to mother, money, mother, true spiritual self-care. And there are certain things that you can do on a regular basis to help you with this, right? You have to understand that the science behind the moon is connected to water, which is currency. But what's the word? current water current and currency at the end of this video i'm going to show you a tiktok video that really breaks this down so but what you need to understand about the moon is that you need to currently be tending to your personal needs the moon moves every two days so maybe it's difficult for you to implement this so at least do this every two days but truly you want to be actively using these activities and doing these self-care activities according to your moon sign on a current basis right so the moon in aries or in the first house you need current and regular physical fitness okay or you need to challenge your physical capabilities at least moon and taurus is about decoring so taking care of things by adding decor to it accessorizing but ultimately it's about planning your funding and how you what you want to pay for how you want to pay for it how you're going to be capable of paying for it because the moon and taurus is satisfied with security but if you are always externalizing your security you're going to find yourself in trouble and the moon and taurus needs to create that security by creating their own plans and funding plans moon and gemini needs to tap into being heard so when you do a lot of writing journaling when you share your your musings when you visit bookstores and libraries read books write this taps you into your money frequency this is your self-care Moon in Cancer is connected to cooking or nurturing through food. So having a soulful home cooked meal is really important for your current self-care. Also tending to your personal space and making sure your home feels comfortable is also key. Moon in Leo is about being being represented representing yourself expressing yourself so you need to perform you need to have performative 
types of activities and this could be very much so similar to Aries where you like you take a dance class or a fitness class and you're just in the front row every time you know or you actually take your talents and you utilize them you go to a cafe and perform you become a street performer you per perform on video and share it onto social media, finding ways for you to perform, entertain, presenting your persona, personality, allowing yourself to craft a persona and personality is key for Moon and Leo. Moon and Virgos need clarity. So they need to clear up clutter, whether this is clearing up clutter in their home, in their office space, in their closets, in their friendships, in their love life, wherever things are cluttered, you need clarity, you need more minimalism in your life on a current basis. Moon and Libra, they need to arrange things, whether it's arranging music, putting and an ensembling things together. But on a basic current level, your outfits, Libra rules over fashion, planning your outfits, arranging outfits. This really satisfies you and will tap you into your money frequency. Moon and Scorpios, you need to do sexy dancing. You need to move your body, wind your waist, twerk dance, chair dance, floor work. Be an exotic dancer if you have to. Um, but you need to do this currently because you need to experience the power. And true power is in seduction. Moon and Sagittarius, you need to coach or give people your wisdom. You should be tutoring people on a regular basis, um, teaching people, whether it's one-on-one -on -one, groups or classes, though the more the merrier for sure. Uh, Moon and Sagittarius is also super party energy, being the one to attend the party, be the life of the party. This is going to satisfy you. Moon and Capricorns need to feel accomplished. So one of the first things you should do because you're so focused on the future is focus on how you've already accomplished. What have you already accomplished? Assess your trophies. Revisit your your old successes. Remind yourself that if you've done it once, you could do it again. And then start checking off what needs to get done in your current project, project management. Moon in Aquarius or 11th house, you need to be connected to your alliances. Currently or on a current basis, you should be visiting your friends' houses, attending parties as well, open houses. I mean, anything that allows you to meet new people, gather with people, and, and people who are allies, people who share same interests as you. Moon in Pisces actually needs a lot of time alone. They need to meditate, self-isolate, and take breaks. Moon and Pisces current in their current needs to always be planning what is their break going to be and what are you going to do on your break? This is about finding your destination and the destination really satisfies you knowing where you're going, know what your next move is. This is very, very therapeutic for Moon and Pisces. Also filming, taking photos, um, taking a uh, abstract photos or literal photos, anything that really you observe and you find interesting. Taking photos of these things will deeply satisfy you. So this goes to show you that your moon sign is, is a path, a formula to tend to your self-care frequency. And uh, you can also check the next uh, part of this where I'm going to share with you a video from TikTok that shows you and breaks it down better than I can the connection to the moon, money, water, and currency. I'll see you guys in the next video. Charged in a court because you're a battery. A bank is a river bank because it directs the currency. Money is water. This is why we call it liquidity. Money is moony because the moon is feminine. It's water. The sun is fire, masculine. This is why the tides of the ocean follow where the moon is because it controls water in your body and on the earth. That's why there's a correlation between the moon and the stock market. The moon affects our emotions and our psychology. That's why we call people a lunar tick. Lunar is the moon. If your name is in full capital letters this is not you it's the cooperation that you subject yourself to you can't charge a natural body but you can charge a cooperation you subject yourself to the cooperation that's why you're called a corpse when you die to learn more join the university